Why doesn't the moon orbit the sun rather than the earth? We were all taught in school that the sun is the center of the solar system. It all started when Copernicus remarked, we revolve around the sun like any other planet and permanently transformed our perspective on the universe. So why does the moon rotate around the earth rather than the sun if the sun has the power to take it away from us? Is that even correct? If the moon orbits the earth and the earth orbits the sun, one might conclude that the moon also orbits the sun. In this video, we'll look at the gravity underlying this phenomena, the hypothesis of moon formation and additional asteroids in Earth's orbit. Prepare to go deep into space and discover the secrets of the universe. Hello and welcome to Z. The simple answer is that the sun is too far away to grab the moon from us. The moon orbits the Earth due to its gravity. The gravitational pull between two things lessens as their distance rises. Although the Sun is enormous and considerably farther away from the Moon than Earth, its gravitational influence on the Moon is not as great as Earth's. The strength of gravity between two bodies diminishes proportionally to the inverse square of their distance. The force of gravity reduces by a factor of 100 as the distance rises by a factor of 10. Despite being nearly 150 million kilometers away, the Sun, which accounts for 99.8% of the mass of the entire solar system, is so massive that it pulls the Moon, which is only 384,000 kilometers away, with twice the gravitational force that Earth exerts on its nearest neighbor. The Moon's Formation But first, we need to understand how the Moon arose in order to comprehend why it revolves our planet. The most popular hypothesis is the huge impact hypothesis, which involves two planets colliding and creating debris the size of the moon. Let's go into the specifics, and I hope it astounds you as it does me. According to the idea, a Mars-sized protoplanet named Thea after the Greek goddess of sight and heavenly light crashed with Earth some 100 million years after its formation. This protoplanet, known as the Impactor, eventually failed to reach full planetary classification. It's a shame for Thea, but it's a fantastic thing for us. How else could we get such a lovely nighttime view of the moon? According to proponents of this idea, Thea and Earth collided head-on, causing a portion of the early Earth's crust and Thea itself to be melted and thrown into space. Gravity drew the junk in space together, eventually producing the moon. Thea, the black circle, collides with the Earth, the blue circle, during its orbit around the Sun, causing debris, in red, and gravitationally creating our moon, the gray circle. That makes sense, doesn't it? This concept is supported by a wealth of evidence, including the striking similarity between the Earth's crust and the lunar rocks. The presence of iron in the Earth's core prior to the formation of the Moon through a collision may help to explain why the Moon lacks iron in its composition. The debris was made up of a combination of the Earth's iron-depleted rocky mantle and the impactor's core. Computers have accurately recreated the scenario of material originating from the Earth's crust without harming the planet's core. Skydiver Effect it is not correct to say that moons like Earth's and other planets make a conscious decision not to orbit the Sun. This notion indicates that billions of years ago, the moons had a choice between two options, which is not the case. The moon does, in fact, complete an orbit around the Sun in addition to orbiting its home planet. The planet-moon system as a whole orbits the Sun and is continually being drawn in unison towards it. The essence of the argument is that if you imagine two skydivers jumping out of a plane, they would fall at the same pace. Ignoring air resistance, we can see that the Earth pulls both skydivers at the same rate, neither of them is falling faster because gravity's acceleration is unaffected by mass. It is only contingent on the mass of the object they are descending towards. The 60 moons of Jupiter and Saturn, including our own, all orbit or fall towards the Sun at the same rate as their respective planets. Unless interfered with by an outside factor, such as a third skydiver, these moons and skydivers would remain together as they descended. 
The objective of this example is to highlight a misunderstanding of planetary systems in the question why does the moon revolve around the earth instead of the sun? Even though this does not explain why the moon orbits the earth, it is a dangerous misconception. Let's talk about why the moon circles around the earth rather than the sun. Gravity wells. Gravity is a powerful force that affects everything in space. Gravity attracts all other objects in space, hence the course of anything orbiting or traveling through space is determined by gravity. Gravitational force is the superglue that ties galaxies together, allowing planets to stay in their orbits and allowing humans to employ man-made satellites to travel to and from the moon. It allows planets to be inhabited by holding gases and liquids in their atmospheres, but it may also force asteroids to collide with planets and destroy them. To understand why the moon has been able to stay in its orbit around Earth and not collide with the sun, we can go into the depths of a gravity well, which is the gravitational force that a massive body exerts in space. A small object orbiting a huge object looks to be in a deepening gravitational well or valley. The closer it gets, the steeper the slope, hastening its decline and making it more difficult to ascend and escape. Because the Sun is so huge, not only large planets like Jupiter and Saturn, but also the Oort clouds, which are 186 billion miles away, are pushed towards it and helplessly pulled under its gravitational pull. The planets are enormous and have their own gravitational pull, however it is not as strong as the Sun's. Because it is imprisoned in the Earth's gravitational field, the Moon revolves the planet. The zone surrounding a planetary body where its gravitational pull is the primary factor attracting satellites, such as spacecraft or moons, as opposed to the gravitational attraction of the sun or other neighboring bodies, is known as a Hill sphere. The concept of a well within a well system is demonstrated in Hill spheres. This occurs when an object maintains its orbit around another object in the midst of a more massive or powerful gravitational well. As a result, the moon has not been drawn too far into the gravitational field of the Earth. If the moon does not attain the escape velocity of Earth's gravitational pull, it will be unable to escape the planet's clutches. Anything with a velocity less than the escape velocity will be caught in the gravitational well. Given the radius and mass of anybody in space, the escape velocity may be calculated. Despite its orbital speed of 1 km per second being less than Earth's escape velocity of 1.2 km per second, the Moon can maintain its current orbit around the Earth. This is because the Moon lacks the necessary force to break free from Earth's gravitational attraction and would either circle or collide with the Sun. The Moon is just below the rim of the well, with a differential of 0.2 km per second that is too small for the Sun to steal away. Now that we've examined the moon's orbit around the Earth, let me ask you, is the moon the sole object orbiting the Earth? Before you finish watching the video, I'd want to hear your thoughts on what you believe the answer is. No, it does not. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite, however there are numerous NEOs whose orbits are resonant with Earth, which are referred to as second moons or mini moons by the public. What does it mean to be in resonance? Two celestial bodies are said to be in orbital resonance when their orbital periods can be expressed as a numerical ratio of two integers. 469219 Kamalawa is an asteroid identified on April 27, 2016, that is believed to be Earth's most stable quasi-satellite. It orbits the Sun while also attempting to orbit Earth. Despite being too far away to be considered a true satellite of Earth, it is the most reliable and secure example of a near-Earth object known as a quasi-satellite. Earth Trojan asteroids, like its 2010 TK7, have orbits around the Sun that are similar to Earth's orbit. These NEOs, near-Earth objects, such as 3753 Kruthn, appear to circle somewhere other than Earth. Because these asteroids follow the same orbital route as Earth, they appear to be either ahead of or behind it in its orbit. Who knew what the answer was? Thank you for viewing this video and learning about the moon's creation and why it revolves the Earth rather than the Sun. Such inquiries assist us to obtain a better knowledge of our universe and the forces that shape it. 
We hope that this video satisfied your appetite for information and left you with more questions to investigate and answer about the world around us. Stay curious until the next time and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.